Hello everyone, before we begin, I have an announcement. I have ordered the boards for the effects modules I call the Vespid Octave Fuzz that I plan to sell as kits for use as a guitar effects pedal or wired to a push-pull pot for use under the pick guard or whatever you desire as it is only 17 by 22 millimeter, which is roughly half the size of an SD card. Because they have not arrived yet, here's a quick demonstration of the same circuit on a breadboard instead. Here's a schematic if you'd like to try it on your own. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in one of these kits. Now, the next sequence was filmed with my phone, so the quality isn't the best. It was sort of a spontaneous video. But, enjoy. Redwood body with a Douglas fir neck. Again with the Douglas fir. Yes. <laughs> I never knew it would be a, a, a guitar material, especially for necks. Yeah, I have a, a pickup winding machine at work, so I've been winding my own pickups. It's pretty cool to buy a little kit. What kind of a pickup is this? It's a mini humbucker of unknown origin that has a, a lot of output. I'm guessing that's your little insignia on the headstock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been DJ. Doing that right now. Wait a minute. Oh. Got a uh, little kit and soldered up an amp. It's based on a uh, Fender Champ. The circuit is it? I forget the circuit. That's a nice little amp. It's a little, a little on the darker side. But... <laughs> And uh, we don't know where Uncle Ted went, but we found his boat on the island of Curry near Midway Island. And uh, the, the uh, caretaker of the island managed to salvage his stuff. And her dad lived in Lakeside, so she came by the shop one day and dropped off the banjo and that thing and, and the little mask thing there. Banjo and that that thing that looks like a bazooki yeah. right over there. Yeah, but it's if you look close, it's got a fifth string oh, peg yeah. on the side there. Oh yeah! Oh, step over this. Ah, I'm tripping step. all over everything. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's that. There's the uh, little fifth string right there. It's yeah, interesting. It's interesting. Kind of reminds me of something called a uh, forget. I forget what it's called, but I've seen it before. Yeah. 
It's got a banjo neck, but a body like this. I just can't remember what it's called. Yeah. A mountain banjo or something. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I guess you, that would be safe. You got a little body with the uh, little struts. That was my first acoustic guitar top. And uh, huh. seriously overbuilt. Seriously overbuilt. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I got the guitar back last year. And I took the top off and took the neck off, made a new top and a new neck, and turned it into a nice sounding, nice playing guitar, which was fun. Mm -hmm. wasn't much to look at, but it played good and sounded good. But, you know, it was my first one. I made it on a picnic bench with hand tools. Wow. <laughs> what about this, this little guy right here? It's just a... It's, um, my dad gave me this, it's myrtle wood from Oregon. It's kind of pretty wood. And I made this guitar years ago and then I'm not real impressed with it anymore. So now I got to figure out what to do with it. I think I'm going to make a pick garden. A strats type picker and do that. <clears throat> it's pretty. And my dad gave me the wood, so it makes it special. But I'm trying to decide what to do with it, so it lives over here for now. And somebody gave me this mandolin. You see, the neck has took quite a. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, these... Oh, it's a bullback. I have a... Wait a minute, is, is this a Bruno? No, it's not a Bruno. I don't know what it is. It's a Victoria. Victoria. Oh, so you drop something. Uh, drop something. Hang on, yes, a Victoria. Best American made. But even the best American made can only handle so much abuse before they fall apart. But it's Brazilian rosewood, which is highly sought after and endangered. So, makes it special. I don't know if we'll ever do anything with it. It might just hang on the wall till I get too old to think about it. Which could be next week, who knows? to work just right yet. Oh. It's based on the Fender Baseman 5F4. Uh, so it's a work in progress, huh? Yes, it is. And, uh, let's Power transformer here, the output transformer, that's called Choke. I want to set it up for uh, KT88 tubes. So, still trying to. I've got a, got a problem and I've kind of set it on the shelf for a while. I made the, uh, made the cabinet in the speaker box out of oak that I cut down in my yard. So this speaker box here made from oak out in the yard. Somewhere around here I've got a box from the it's pretty big. I don't know how I can get too far away. I'll probably stuck it away somewhere. <clears throat> it's kind of fun. It's got some uh, big, big cracks in the top with some little uh, bow tie inlays to hold it together. Oh, well. Doesn't get any better with age, obviously. You start forgetting stuff, and next thing you know, you forget who you are.
I see a lot of... There it um, is. Oh, oh, there it is! It's up, way up there. Drag it down, it might encourage me to do something. It's kind of funny. So this is made of oak, 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 live oak from from our trees. Uh, so you have any bow ties in there to kind of keep it together? That's kind of fun. So you got a lot of those. Uh, those are those guitar tops down there. <laughs> no, those are mostly patterns. Patterns, patterns. Yeah. I like a base. <coughs> this is for the 20 fret 35 inch scale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All different patterns for guitars and stuff. Bracing patterns and things. Yeah, we've got some tops and backs up in that pile up there. Stuff up there. So you got some uh, jigs too. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Thing called a fox bender, we use a heated blanket and some clamps and the like. But I'm kind of liking this one better. It's a one at a time thing. I got to make a uh, my next project is a baritone ukulele, so I got to draw it out. And it's going to be like that big, as opposed to. This big. You gotta refine the shape a little bit. And... Anything else? Kingston Trio. Kingston Trio. Kingston Trio. The uh, short guy. Try not to step on your ramp. The short guy, Nick Reynolds, grew up in Alpine. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so this came from the uh, the bellows, the, the organ. Yeah. So I've got I've got some of the guts to make another amp. I think I'm going to make an amp out of this. Gotta buy a transformers and a chassis. Got the guts. This is a uke I made a couple years ago and it, it got broke. And the bridge came off and the top cracked. Oh, that's it's way up here. I've got the top glued back together okay, but it's. Cedar, it's a cedar top, and cedar's kind of fragile. Yeah, the the first uh, str uh, fretted instrument I made had a cedar top. <laughs> you remember how crude that thing was? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm debating about whether to make a new top for it. I don't I think I'll try just putting a new bridge on it and make it play. I'll have to lay my little DJ thing in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do 
Twice a day my clock's correct. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess that's all the excitement I got here. Well, thanks for uh, giving me a little tour of your shop and your other instruments. You're welcome. Real, real interesting design. I like it's got the fan fretboard. And here he's got the fretless bass, which is the reason, kind of the reason why we came in here. And this one's a hollow body. So what is the fretless bass made of? Uh, spruce top, koa sides, uh, oh, uh, sepale. Sepale, <laughs> yeah. yes. Nice ebony fingerboard. My wacky post bridge. This is a short scale with a zebra wood top and a birch body with a maple neck and a rosewood fingerboard. And this one's a long scale, 35 inch scale. Tune B E A D with the Okume body and a Douglas fur neck. That's another one with a Douglas fur neck. Ebony fingerboard with some abalone inlays. So what is the fingerboard on this one made of? I don't know. Uh, it's something I found in the trash. It's rosewood-like. Ah. <laughs> but I can't tell you exactly what it is. You've got the fan fretboard and the uh, staggered saddles there. Yeah, so there's a different scale length for each string. Ah. This one's 35, this one's 34, so this is probably 34 and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just can't get over the Douglas fur necks. Yeah. You know, I'd, I would have never thought of making a neck out of Douglas fur, but apparently I guess it works. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing's, what kind of truss rod does this thing have? Does it have a truss rod? Yeah, oh, just a standard. Oh, there we go. Standard yeah. compression rod. So you made you made which of these guitars did you make? All of them. All of them. Wow, this one, uh -huh. this one, this fretless right here. Mm. This thing's cool. That thing, that that thing is awesome. It's wacky, kind of awesome. Well, sorry, this is the fretless one. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because this one's got the filled the yeah. filled in frets. And yeah, of course, you, this guy didn't do super glue. Not with an ebony board. Yeah, not with an ebony board, of course. Nice and hard, anyways. Yeah. Rosewood and spruce. Raised fingerboard. Oh. It angles the neck more like that. It shoots down towards the body to give a little more tension on the top so you can get a little more volume out of it. A little more tone involved. And this is Judd has one. Uh, walnut and Douglas fir. Douglas fir again? Made from my bathroom door. Wow. Yes. She plays left handed.
Oops. <laughs> that bridge is absolutely massive. Yeah. So you can get that force driving the top. Mm -hmm. There's a post underneath here, and then this side works the top while this one rides the post. Okay. Chinese base. Chinese, huh? Yep. It's all plywood. Nothing spectacular. But I have a friend with a hundred year old base that's going solid woods and they sound about the same. They're surprised. I gotta get a bow. The bows are really cool. Yeah. It really rocks the room when you play with a bow. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely don't forget to hit that bell. Until next time, thanks for watching.